Good health to all from Rexall. It's the Phil Harris Alice Fay Show, presented by the makers of Rexall drug products and 10,000 independent Rexall family druggists. Good evening and happy Easter from 10,000 independent Rexall family druggists. Tonight we have some unusually important news for you. This coming week in five different magazines you'll be seeing a double page advertisement telling you about Rexall's spring one cent sale that starts April 20th and runs through the 24th. This ad will appear in Life, Look, the Saturday Evening Post, Collier's and the Farm Journal. And it contains 197 different items. All of them regular Rexall branded guaranteed merchandise. And all of them offered to you at two for the price of one plus a penny. These items and many more are available at any Rexall drugstore in the country. So it's a nationwide chance to buy twice as much for a penny more. Watch for this ad. Check what you need in advance and use the ad as your shopping list. Remember, it appears this coming week in the Farm Journal, Collier's, the Saturday Evening Post, Look, and Life. And when that money-saving date of April 20th rolls around, remember, you can depend on any drug product that bears the name Rexall. Good health to all from Rexall. your Rexall family druggist brings you the Phil Harris Alice Fay Show, written by Ray Singer and Dick Chevrolet, with Elliot Lewis, Walter Tetley, Robert North, Janine Roos, Anne Whitfield, Walter Sharp and his music, yours truly, Bill Foreman, and starring Alice Fay and Phil Harris. Yesterday, being the day before Easter, Phil insisted on telling the children the story of the Easter bunny. So let's go back to yesterday and listen in while Phil tells the story in his own inimitable fashion. And so you see, kids, when you're asleep tonight, the Easter bunny will drive up with his reindeer, come down the chimney, and put the colored eggs under the tree. <laughs> Phil, you have the wrong holiday. The wrong holiday? Oh, yeah, of course. I got it mixed up with the 4th of July. <laughs> That's right, Wonga. <laughs> Easter is the day when if the turkey comes out and sees his shadow, you know it's six weeks until Labor Day. <laughs> so that's how they know when Labor Day comes, huh? <laughs> Daddy, do you believe in the Easter Bunny? Well, sure. Me and Frankie see him quite often. <laughs> Uh, what does he look like? Well, he has big ears, pink eyes, and a funny nose that twitches. We know what Uncle Frankie looks like. It's <laughs> not the bunny. Well, that was the bu... Oh, I see what you mean. Yeah, there is a similarity. But you know something, kids? I talk to the bunny all the time. Oh, Father, please. <laughs> What's the matter? Don't you kids believe me? What are you, a couple of clinics or something? <laughs> I tell you a beautiful story about the Easter Bunny and you don't believe me. I believe you, Philip, and please go on. You intrigue me. <laughs> well, if it isn't Uncle Wiggly. Pull up a cabbage and sit down. You kids will think di uh, differently tomorrow morning when you see the eggs my friend... The rabbit leaves tonight. You'll think differently, all right. Come on, Alice. Let's leave these two little disbelievers here. Phyllis, he really believed that corny bunny story. It figures. Gee, poor Daddy. He'll be awful disappointed if that rabbit doesn't show up tonight. We've got to do something about it. What can we do? It's simple. All we have to do is find a big rabbit that can talk. Oh, sis, you've been popping your bubble gum too hard. <laughs> Where can we find a talking rabbit? I know a guy. Where do we find this guy? <laughs> well, you know Daddy's other radio program? You mean the one that he stars on for Lucky Strike? Yes. Well, there's a stooge on that program who can talk like a rabbit. Oh, I don't think Mr. Benny can talk like a rabbit. <laughs> Alice, Mr. Benny is not a stooge. 
Daddy says he's the best straight man he ever had. <laughs> anyway, I'm talking about Mel Blanc. He's the one who plays Bugs Bunny in the Warner Brothers cartoon. Oh, yes, he's wonderful. Let's call him and see if he'll dress up in a rabbit suit and come over. Yeah, and will Daddy be surprised? But remember, we gotta keep it a secret. We'll tell Mr. Blank to come to the back door so nobody will know that he's here. Alice, Alice, wait a minute. You don't have to tell me. I don't believe in the Easter Bunny, but children should. Gee whiz. I want them to live in their little world of make-believe as long as they can. I want them to have faith in the little sprites and elves who cavort through the fiction of fairy tales. <laughs> Thank you, Mother Goose. <laughs> okay. Now, you know no rabbit's going to show up tonight. I know, I know, I know no rabbit's going to show up tonight. But tomorrow morning when the kids wake up and they find the colored eggs and then they'll think that the bunny was here. And that must be Frankie. I'll get it. I told him to get a dozen eggs and some dye on his way over. Oh, hello, Franklin. Hiya, Curly. Well, I got the stuff you wanted. You get the glasses and nutmeg, and I'll mix it. <laughs> glasses and nutmeg for what? I told you to bring eggs and dye. Oh, I thought you said eggs and rye. <laughs> Remley, listen to me. I wanted to color eggs for the kids. Now you made a mistake. Oh, what a pity. Now we will have to make an eggnog. <laughs> This is going to be a great Easter for the kids. When they get up in the morning and go looking, they'll find eggnogs. Don't worry. Well, we're going to put them, they ain't going to find them. <laughs> Frankie, we ain't mixing eggnogs. Now, we're going to spend the evening coloring eggs. We're going to do what? Color eggs. Oh, we'll have loads of fun, Frankie. We'll take all the colored dyes and mix them with water and then put them into bowls. And then we'll take the eggs and dip them in gently, and they'll come out beautiful colors, such as violet, fuchsia, cerise, chartreuse. Well, la di da. <laughs> Sounds like a racy evening. All right. <laughs> Look, Remley, this is for the kids. I want them to believe in the Easter Bunny. Now, look, you've got the wrong stuff, so you'll have to go back to the store and get some dye. All right, I'll exchange it. I'll take back the rye. Don't touch that bottle. <laughs> it has a color all its own. <laughs> Old fuchsia. We're going to dye eggs. What do you need the bottle for? We'll use it to crack open the eggs. <laughs> now, get going. Okay. While I'm gone, do me a favor and sing. Why do you want me to sing while you're gone? Better than having you do it while I'm here. <laughs> well, he wouldn't understand this number anyway. Ain't I got the song of the robin? Ain't I got a roof in the sky Wonder why my heart keeps a throbbing, a throbbing A son of God's country am I Ain't I got the plains and the mountains Ain't their treasures mine if I try One by one my blessings I'm counting Counting, a son of God's country am I. I've got the sun up in the sky that streams when I am dry, the fruit on the boughs of the tree, the clouds bringing me rain, the fields giving me grain. Thanks to the Maker for thee. Ain't I got a loved one who loves me Kids to make my cares her revive I may not be in heaven But I can't be far away A son of God's country am I I've got the sun up 
in the sky that screams when I am dry. The fruit, the boughs of the tree. Clouds bringing me rain. The fields giving me grain. Thanks to the maker for thee. be in heaven, but I can't be far away. A son of God's country am I. One of God's children am I. Mel Blank say he'd be here. He said he'd be here. That's the back door. It must be him now. I'll let him in. Gee, it's Bug Bunny. <laughs> Gosh, Mr. Blank, you look swell in that rabbit costume. You look like a real bunny. <laughs> We asked you to come over because we want you to fool somebody. Do you think you can do it? Well, I can do it, but uh, I don't know if I ought to. You see, I, I don't like to fool people. But you promised us. You're not going to go back on your word, are you? Of course not. What do you think I am, a Welsh rabbit? <laughs> That's all we needed, a hokey hair. Well, uh... <laughs> what do you expect from a rabbit? Good jokes? Well, it's, uh, it's kind of hard to pass myself off as an Easter bunny. You know, kids are pretty hep these days. Who is this uh, backward child you want me to fool? Our daddy. He believes in the Easter bunny. He believes in the Easter bunny? Oh, he's been nibbling on tainted ham hocks. <laughs> hey, uh, does your mother believe in us, too? No, so don't let her see you. You sneak into the living room and sit in the corner, and we'll send daddy in to see you. And don't forget, if Mommy comes in, hide. Yeah, okay, Doc. Come on, Phyllis. <laughs> we'll tell Daddy we have a big surprise for him in the living room. Oh, Daddy! I'm not talking to you two, you Easter Bunny scoffer adders. <laughs> if you go in the living room, we have a big surprise for you. A uh, surprise for me? Oh, gee, that's wonderful. Hey, thanks, kids. I'll go right in. Ah, uh, gee, it was nice of the kids to get me something for Easter. Gosh, I hope it's a potted calla lily. <laughs> wonder where they put it. I don't see anything. <laughs> I gotta take care of the water on my knee. <laughs> Keeps gurgling. <laughs> What's that sound? Seems to be coming from the corner. Oh, it's just the Easter Bunny. I knew he'd show up and wait a minute. <laughs> now, wait a minute. Get a grip on yourself, Curly. Oh, now I'm seeing rabbits. And look at the size of them. I can't understand it. I haven't touched a drop in two months. <laughs> I've been fighting it. I've been fighting it too hard. I'm suffering from battle fatigue. <laughs> You're not really there, are you, Bunny? Alice, come in here quick, Alice! Oh, thank heaven's sake, what is it, Phil? What's wrong? Alice, look in the corner. A rabbit with a glandular condition. <laughs> what are you talking about? There's nothing in the corner. I don't see anything. He's right over. He's gone. Who's gone, dear? Alice, I saw a six-foot Easter bunny sitting over there. <laughs> I know, dear. He was dressed in white fur, and he had pink eyes and big ears, and he was wearing a high hat. Don't be funny. He wasn't wearing a high hat. It was a derby. <laughs> Didn't you see him, Alice? Of course not, Phil. You're seeing things. Uh oh Now, now, lie down, dear, and I'll go get you a cup of hot tea. Uh, tea? <laughs> <laughs> Poor Phil. Mm, what's wrong, Alice? Oh, it's Phil. Willie, he's seeing six-foot rabbits. What should I do? 
Mm, cut down the water pressure in the shower. It's beating his little brains out. <laughs> No joking matter. He's seen things and I have to snap him out of it. Alice, I have a suggestion. If he thinks he's seeing six-foot rabbits, why don't you get a six-foot rabbit and actually let him see it? Uh, how's the water pressure in your shower, kid? <laughs> no, no, I mean hire somebody to put on a costume. Do you remember Julius in that Easter play last year? He wore a real rabbit suit and you couldn't tell him from the real thing. Oh, I see what you mean. Willie, you call Julius and tell him to come over here in his rabbit suit as fast as he can. Very well, sis. Oh, this'll do it. Because if there is a rabbit for Phil to see, then the one he thinks he sees won't be the one he didn't see because he really will see the one... It... Oh, I'd better check the water pressure in my shower, too. <laughs> I'll have to sing my way out of this. <laughs> got to stay with the happy people. Have your fun, live in the land of joy. Stay with the happy people. Face the sun, life is a Christmas toy. Down through the endless ages, tears have been contagious. And take it from me that misery is looking around for company. So stay, stay, stay with the happy people. Don't wrinkle your brow, it's strictly out of style. Just stay with the people who love to wear a smile. Smile, 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 won't you wear a smile? Smile, smile, won't you wear a smile? Christmas toy. Down through the endless ages, tears have been contagious. And you can take it from me that misery is looking around for company. So stay, stay, stay with the happy people. Don't you wrinkle your brow, it's strictly out of style. Just stay, stay, stay with the people. Love, love, love all the people. I call Julius and he'll be right over in his rabbit suit. Oh, good. And when he comes, we'll sneak him into the dining room. Where's Philip? Oh, he's still in the living room resting. Let's not disturb him because it's been quite an ordeal. It's the most ridiculous thing that ever happened to me. If the rabbit was sitting in that corner, Alice would have seen him. But she didn't see him, so he couldn't have been there. I'm beginning to feel a little better. For a minute, I thought I was off my trolley. <laughs> Clank, clank, I'm derailed. <laughs> Alice, Alice. What are you yelling, Curly? I got the dying. What's the matter with you? You look like you've seen a ghost. Oh, I just saw worse than that, Remley. Now, take a look in that corner behind me. Please tell me that there's nothing there. Well, I don't see any. Oh, hiya, Harvey. <laughs> I was saying, Curly, I got the dying. Wait a minute. You mean you not only see him, you know him? I ought to. I've been seeing him for years. <laughs> well, this animal belongs to you, huh? Yeah. Oh, wait a minute. This one ain't mine. <laughs> the one I always see is pink and has a long trunk and tusks. <laughs> but the egg yours, where's he come from? Why don't you ask him? Oh, sure, sure. I'll just walk up to him and say, Hey, Rab, where are you from? Pasadena, Doc. Remley's talking. Don't tell me. I'll make him believe I didn't hear him. But he's talking English. You're lucky. Mine talks elephant language. I can't understand a word well, mine you says. You cut that out. 
Now, look, this is serious. Remley, we gotta pull ourselves together. A rabbit can't talk. But, Curly, we just... Never heard. mind. Now, just repeat after me. A rabbit can't talk. A rabbit can't talk. A rabbit can't talk. <laughs> you keep out of it. Remley, get it again. There's something phony about this rabbit. He sure is a stupid-looking thing. <laughs> I've never seen such red eyes. Hey, look who's talking. <laughs> now, just a minute, Rabbit. My red eyes have to be... All right, Frankie, like... stop talking to him. <laughs> look, Rab, I can't take any more of this. You better disappear and get out of my life or I'll make a rabbit stew out of you. Oh, yeah? Don't get tough with me, Doc, or I'll cut off your foot and make a good luck charm out of it. That does it. <laughs> Come on, Remy, let's get out of this room. You don't have to urge me. Curly, I'm throwing away the nutmeg. <laughs> huh? When we start seeing talking rabbits, it's time to quit. We didn't really see him. Hmm? Put that nutmeg back. <laughs> Tell you, we just imagined it. There's no such thing as a talking rabbit. Now forget about it and don't ever... Oh, Bill! Bill, come into the dining room a minute. I have a surprise for you. Coming, honey! Now, look, Remley, not a word to Alice about this talking rabbit. All right, right. Uh, what's the surprise, honey? Oh, a friend of yours is here. Look over in the corner. Where? <laughs> right over here, Max! <laughs> oh, no, another one. Frankie, I got another rabbit. Capitalist. <laughs> You got two rabbits. All I got is one lousy elephant. Alice, tell me there's nothing in that corner. Oh, but there is, honey. This is what you've been seeing. This is your Easter bunny. Oh, no, no, no. It ain't mine. Mine's in the living room. <laughs> this one's yours. So she's got one, too. Congratulations, Alice, and welcome to our fold. <laughs> Alice, will you listen to me? This can't be the Easter Bunny. I was just talking to him in the living room. He must be an imposter. I'm the Easter Bunny. Oh, uh, yeah? Just wait a minute. Hey, Rab, come in here a minute. Now, Phil, please. This is the Easter Bunny. If you saw another one, it was just a figment of your imagination. Who are you calling a figment, Blondie? <laughs> you say out of... Boy! <laughs> you see, I told you, there's two of them. And what do you mean, two of us? I'm the Easter Bunny. Hey, you, Mac, there's only one Easter Bunny, and that's I'm. Now, wait a minute, Doc. You're waking the wrong side of the street. I've had this territory for years. I'm Bugs Bunny. You're Bugs Bunny? Don't you remember me? I'm Harry Hare. Harry! Bugs! <laughs> now kiss at each other. Well, I had to, Doc. You see, me and the missus had a nice hutch there, but we got a new landlord who didn't allow children. <laughs> <laughs> and there's no place for a rabbit. All right, rabbit, you can break it up now. You stay out of there. How's your wife, Harry? Haven't you heard? She left me. For another rabbit? No. They mechanized her and they're using her with the dog track. <laughs> well, at least she's going around in nice cycles. <laughs> all right, all right, cut. And Julius, you can climb out of that rabbit suit now. Okay. What's the idea? What are you trying to pull? Oh, it's my fault, Phil. I hired Julius to play the Easter Bunny. Well, what about the other one? That one I don't know about. Oh, I guess I better unmask, too. Look, Phil, it's me. Well... Mel Blank. Yeah, the kids hired me to play the Easter Bunny. Oh, for goodness sakes, what a family. How wild can you get hiring two people to play rabbits? Well, thank goodness for one thing, I'm not crazy. Ah, uh, Curly, <clears throat> I hate to tell you this, but a third rabbit just came in. <laughs> Look, another one? Ah, oh, no, nah, no, nah, you don't. I'm not going to fall for this again. Hey, buddy, who hired you to play the Easter Bunny? Nobody hired me. Well, what's your name? Who are you? My name is Peter. I'm a wheel wabbit. Oh!
Alice and Phil will be back in just a moment. But right now, here's a lady with a question for our Rexall family druggist. I want to know more about the ad on Rexall's one cent sale. Well, ma'am, the ad appears this coming week in the Saturday Evening Post, Look, Life, Colliers, and the Farm Journal. And it contains 197 items offered to you during Rexall's one cent sale at two for the price of one plus a penny. What an opportunity to save. You said it, ma'am. A two for one Rexall opportunity. Because remember, these two big magazine pages are crammed full of regular Rexall branded guaranteed items. Every one of them a twin bargain. Every one of them going at two for the price of one plus a penny. Now, in front of every item, there's a little square, so you can check what you need in advance. Why, I can use the ad as a shopping list. That's exactly what we intend it to be. It's your big chance to stock up for months in advance. Or you can team up with a neighbor or friend and share the savings. Yes, on April 20th, the starting day of Rexall's One Cent Sale, you double your buying power by simply adding a penny. Where did you say the ad will appear? In Life, Look, Collier's, The Saturday Evening Post, and The Farm Journal. You must get one of those at your house, so remember to watch for it. And remember also, you can depend on any drug product that bears the name Rexall. Good health to all from Rexall. <laughs> Bill again. Folks, the Red Cross belongs to you. You are the Red Cross. National headquarters in Washington has told us that this year's quota is far undersubscribed. And as we all know, today's cost of food and shelter is higher than ever. So for every dollar you gave before, this year, add a quarter more. Good night and happy Easter. Happy Easter, everybody. This program was produced and directed by Paul Phillips. Included in today's cast were Mel Blank and Arthur Q. Bryan. The part of Frankie Remley was played by Elliot Lewis, and Julius was played by Walter Tetley. Alice Fay appeared through the courtesy of 20th Century Fox. Watch for the double-page ad on Rexall's one-cent sale this coming week in Life, Look, Collier's, The Saturday Evening Post, and The Farm Journal. Sale starts April 20th. Mark the date on your calendar. It's your chance to buy two top-quality, guaranteed Rexall products for the price of one plus a penny. Next, Sam Spade, then Joan Fontaine in Theater Guild on NBC.